Hello and welcome back to our Advent devotional series. Today is day 13. So we'll be reading our 13th story, Out of the King is Coming. And this story is called God's Forever Plan. The story of Jeremiah. And the story of Jeremiah comes from the book of Jeremiah in the Bible. Yesterday, we talked about God's special messenger, Elijah. He wasn't the only one God sent to give messages to his people. No, God sent prophet after prophet after prophet. They were all very different. Some were poor, some were rich, some were old, some were young. Some knew they'd be prophets their whole lives. Some were surprised when God asked them to be prophets. One prophet was named Jeremiah, but he got an interesting nickname the weeping prophet. That may not sound like a nickname you'd like, and to be honest, Jeremiah probably didn't like it either, but Jeremiah knew that when God gives you a message, you have to share it, whether it makes you laugh or makes you cry. And weeping is just another name for crying. Most of the messages God gave Jeremiah made people cry. Jeremiah warned them that if they kept on pushing God away, he would actually leave. Jeremiah warned them that if they kept ignoring God, God might ignore them and their prayers. Jeremiah warned them that if they didn't listen to God, God would send them far away from home. With every message, Jeremiah cried. God cried too. He didn't want to be separated from his people. He didn't want them to be sent away, but he also knew that if he didn't do something, his people would never come back to him. So one dark day, God sent an army to destroy the temple and take his people away from their homes, the poor, the rich, the old, the young, and even the king, even Jeremiah. Living so far away from their homes and so far from each other, God's people began to realize that they were also far from God. Now they were ready for God to send them a different message. It was a message that made people laugh and laugh. And Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, was the one God chose to deliver the message. This is the message Jeremiah sent. It was a letter from God himself. My children, you're far from home now and far from me. I've got bad news. I've got good news and I've got better news. The bad news is you're going to stay away for a long time. You won't come home this month or this year or even this decade. So you need to make yourself at home where you are. Build yourself a house, start a family, plant a garden. You'll need all of them. The good news is that as odd as it sounds, I'm going to do something good while you're away. I'm going to make your neighbors, who don't look anything like you, turn to me. It's because the way you love them, people from many different nations will know me. But that's not all. The better news is that they won't last forever. Does it feel like you're all alone? Does it feel like my plans aren't working anymore? That's not the case. I'm still with you, and I still have a plan. Not just a today plan, but a tomorrow plan. In fact, it's a forever plan and a good one too. It's a plan to take all the wrong and make it right and to take all the darkness and make it light. It's a plan to bring you back to me. Come back to me and I'll come back to you. And when I do, you'll remember what another prophet said, Emmanuel, which is a name that means God with us. I love you, God. Jeremiah might have been the weeping prophet, but he knew one thing, God was with him. Even when it was hard, even when he was crying, even when people stopped listening to him, even when the temple got destroyed, God was with Jeremiah. But, so far from home, God seemed far away. So Jeremiah began to hope and to pray. God, will you come back to stay? 
And it looks like today we have a letter on our block representing the letter from God to Jeremiah and his people. I will see you again tomorrow.